in the early 90s, every shop you went into, I guarantee, had a VTech kids product. Well, in 1996, they decided to get a little bit more ambitious with things and ended up releasing this, the Pre-Computer Unlimited. So we're going to be taking this out of its box and have a little look at it. And there'll be a couple of things that I think you might be quite surprised, consider it's a kid's toy. So let's do what we do and let's get cracking. And we have now changed location because unfortunately this thing is far too big to be able to do into my small games room. So I've had to come downstairs and use the kitchen table to display it and show you guys. Uh, sorry about all this um, stuff you can see in the background. Still trying to shift stuff around in the kitchen. But anyway, let's get on with this and have a little look. So what we'll do is we'll go to the top. Open it up. Has a lot of the information on it. I think we'll have a little look at that first, actually. So we've got, turns your TV into a mini computer. That it does. 45 applications, activities, and system control. So it has the usual stuff you would expect on a small computer. Uh, introduces children to word processing, uh, databases, trivia, computer maintenance, etc., etc. And there's a few other couple of things, which I will be mentioning um, in a short while let's switch this flashback on so we see there we go that's a little bit better cool okay so i mean the best thing we can do is start taking this out of the box and having a look at it now i got this off of a friend about three four months ago and i'd never seen one and i basically got it for free he said i know you'd be more interested in this than i am so great thanks to you so let's have a little look what we get inside so we take this off and inside we get the actual computer so you get a wee little square mouse map which is nice you get a little pamphlet that has a lot of the stuff the additional stuff that you could get which is cool these are the old school things i do have one of these around somewhere put that aside and then some random information. Product warranty, always good to have. I don't think I will need that now. Um, additional things, so printer for a Canon setup on a printer. Another one if you need to know how to do a television adjustment on these, because I guarantee if you put this through on its AV cables, the picture will be skewed far, far to the left. Um, when I tried this, I had to rearrange the image. It's a bit of a pain, but hey ho. And then we have the expansion cartridges, and I'll be showing you a little bit about that in a short while. And then, of course, we have the actual ring binder instruction manual, which explains a lot of what you need to know about the computer. And what's quite cool is it's double sided. So if you flip it around, you've got the basic starts on this side, and the general instructions start on this side, which I thought was pretty cool. So we'll go through the accessories and then we'll get to this. So in this little box is the power supply. You don't really need to see that. It's just a small nine volt. You get the power link installation disc. Now this is designed for if you have a Windows, well, back in the day, it would have been a Windows 95 computer because obviously this came out in 1996. So you could basically connect to your printer and to your computer as well. Yes, this does have the ability to print, which is quite cool. So there's your AV, it is mono, as you would possibly expect. So here is your computer data cable, which you need the software for. Unfortunately, I don't have a computer old enough to do that, which kind of sucks, but hey-ho. There's your RF, put that down. Now we're starting to get to the good stuff. So. Here we have the mouse. It is quite small. I'm gonna show you in comparison to my hand. So yeah, you can see it's quite quite clicky. Old school rollerball, which is nice. Unfortunately, what's really annoying is it looks like you can take this cover off, doesn't it? But you can't. What you have to do is you have to actually unscrew these to take the rollerball out. I don't think there's a way to um do this. No, that's no going nowhere. Okay, so put that aside. And then finally in this little box we have the expansion cartridges and I'll show you where those go so take the machine out and this is 
it. So you can see there isn't much to see on it. It has a full keyboard. It's very, very clicky. You have a on button and an off button. It really is that simple. So there's nothing on this side. We do have something on this side, which is where your cartridges go in. So you just simply put that in and then go like that. And that loads the ROM pack in for whatever educational one you require. And then on the back, we have your nine volt in. You've got your video out, your audio out, your RF out, your mouse port, your printer port and PC link and a software reset if that is required. Now, I did say to you that there's an unusual thing about this and it's what actually I think in my um, personal opinion makes it a fully fledged computer. It has basic. I know I was quite surprised myself when I found out that it actually has basic and you can actually code on it. And you can actually save to internal memory. This does have internal memory to save to. Or what you could do is you can get a card like this that slots in and you can save to them unfortunately you can't save to these these are read only but there is an actual ram cartridge that you can get instead of the rom cartridges and yeah so what we're going to do is we're going to finish up here i'll end up having to put this all back together and i'm going to show you some screen grabs of this thing actually in action And that was the VTech Precomputer IT Unlimited. Thank you very much for watching my videos. If you like my stuff, subscribe. I am also on Instagram under the same name. Until then, take care and bye bye for now.